Welcome to another arcade game. Today we're going to talk about Mr. Do. In 1982. And it's weird. Really weird. The music it's in in this game already reminds me of Dig Dug. And you obviously play a clown who looks like in his pajamas. Has just red, white, and blue, blue color. And what? I'm just gonna talk about this as quickly as possible. This is gonna be a pretty short review. Because this game is plain and simple. You click all the cherries and drop oversized apples. Kind of like Dig Dog, is that dropping and rocks on them. And the enemies come really fast, and you have to grab the timer to freeze all the enemies. And... Yeah, and that's what those creatures look like up close. And they look nothing like the ones that chase after you. And you have to get the high score, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Not too hard. Oh, oh it is kind of hard. At the bottom side, you can see how many lives you got, and how many scenes it has, aka levels. And there's the title that says Extra. Uh, if you defeat like an enemy with the E X T R A, you get the word Extra. Like a uh, bonus stage, I hope. Eh, anyways. At least if you do this as quickly as possible before the enemies get ya. Or, or your character will die in a will be animation. So yes, this is pretty much the entirety of the game. Every background always changes different colors. This is obviously just like Dig Dug. Except that the dirt keep changing multiple colors. And you do get these nice in cutscenes. And so I'll give the credit, this game is actually ha not half bad, you know. There are some arcade games I never played before. It's pretty much the strangest one yet. I know I have to keep saying this, but Dig Dugs might be a little better than this weird here game that existed from the 80s. Not that I'm against any clowns, besides the Joker being awesome, and so is that hot lady, Holly Quinn. I don't know why, like most people in the early 80s and 90s, would give clowns video games to be playable. Including the coolest one, which I'll talk about pretty soon. Not to mention there's actually another game to this one, but slightly different. And Mr. Dude did have a sequel. Oh, in pretty much different states besides here in Denver. And Colorado. Kind of a shame I could not afford money to buy arcade games like these ones. 
If I did, I would. But I actually enjoy playing this game. I almost forgot to mention the music and sound effects are actually aren't half bad. We're gonna get used to hearing that can can music play over and over again. And that's pretty much it. This is the entirety of the game. This is all you do. <laughs> See what I did there? I just said the word. Yeah, because Mr. Okay, you know what? Forgive me for that one pun I just said. I don't know who came out with that name, Mr. Do. And make me say it. I would say that word. Anyways, that's all you do. Damn it, I did it again. Oh, excuse my language. Anyways, um... That's pretty much it. This is all you have to play through in this game. So I give Mr. Do, or being a classic 1982 game and plain and simple animation. A salmon out of ten. If you like clowns, if most of you are like huge fans of clowns, then Mr. Do will be your perfect favor of playing games like this. As long as you don't die multiple times. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's the whole game. There's no plot story or just playing a clown that's trying to escape all these monsters that want him on the menu. Anyways, leave a like and subscribe. If, if you probably see me talk about another classic arcade game in the future, which will not be too hard because they're all over the internet. I'm going to actually talk about another interesting arcade game that will give me a bit of likes and views and subscribers and more comments. Anyways, enough of this. It's already been going on for like already 8 whole minutes and I haven't stopped the video yet, so catch you guys around. Bye-o!